name is Dale Keller. I'm the Northeast Region Product Manager for Tacky Manufacturing. Today we're going to be going over the future benefits of our TB235. It's a conventional tail swing machine weighing approximately 8,000 pounds. Uh, starting at the front of the machine, you can get either a pin-on bucket or a quick coupler that's built for us, built for us from uh, TAG equipment. What well, you notice here is we have two bucket pin positions here. One is a power dig position, one is a load position. The load position will give you greater tip, bucket tip radius for opening and closing and loading applications as well. For durability, we have castle nuts, something that a lot of the other manufacturers don't use. The castle nut allows you to compensate for wear down the stick position. This is the part that's going in the dirt, this is where all the abrasions are, this is where we have all of our wear. Very well protected, you have the steel wrap on there, it's sort of a poly wrap like a lot of our cutters use, just for added durability. Angle blade is an option on this machine, you can't get an angle or a straight blade. On the undercarriage itself, we use an elevated K-frame, a little more expensive, much more durable piece for you, to help distribute the load throughout the undercarriage of the machine. Carrier roller, what we use are what's called a triple flange roller. And what the triple flange does is gives us three points of contact over the rail that's built right into the track. This helps us when we're transversing side slopes and things like that, keep the track from derailing or wanting to walk off. Simple grease adjuster here, very durable. As far as the drive motors go, we do have two-speed travel and it does feature automatic step-down travel motors. So as you encounter a load or go to turn in high range, it'll kick into a into low range for you for added torque. Feature a nice recess counterweight. It gives it more durability. But what happens is if we encounter a structure or an obstruction is it clears it without damaging the, uh, the uh, sheet metal on the back of the machine. And access to our battery, under washer flip fill, and also our fuel level indicator. We also have an electric fuel level indicator inside the cab as well. Fuel fill is located right here, as well as our hydraulic, with our one-way hammer valve here for hammer operation. What that does is allows the hydraulics to only go in one direction, and as it comes out of the hammer, it's been pressurized, it's heated, it dumps it directly into filter and then into tank. Cooler operation, more durability. Side panel access to your cooler, the AC unit here, as well as your hydraulic level indicator. Excellent access to the back of the engine. 28 horsepower, direct injected diesel. We have our oil filter, fuel filter, dual element air, as well as a fuel water separator. We also feature in all of our machines a self leading fuel system. So if it goes out, it's on the job, it's on a rental, the customer runs it out of fuel, turn the key on, after you fill it, in about 30 to 45 seconds, you'll be able to start the machine without any bleeding whatsoever. Also, a change that we've made on this, we used to be a top spots machine, tip over protection system. We've gone to a rollover protection system. So with two bolts located in this area, we can remove those and give unparalleled access to all of our hydraulic components. Once that is up, we have access to the back of the engine, the alternator, the starter, your main hydraulic control valve, your slew motor and your swivel joint, which gives you your 360 degree rotation. And we keep all these components low, better for balance. A lot of competitors that move that control valve to the side and go through side engine or side cab um, access. By keeping everything here, we can access travel linkage, the back of the engine, where others have to pull apart panels and different components. Takeuchi uses a four pump hydraulic system. What the four pump system does is allows for for greater metering and fluid control when you're multifunctioning the machine. One pump trying to divide those flows sometimes creates a hesitation as in some of our competitors' machine. We're here, we have a four pump system. A little more expensive to do, but obviously much, much better feel for the operator. Now we're gonna go in the operator's environment. The nice thing about a conventional machine is it does allow for a much larger operator's compartment. If you look at the floor room that we have here, probably one of the largest in the industry. Six-way adjustable uh, cloth seat, Easy entrance. Fold down foot pedals for travel. And one of the nicest features I think that's overlooked is the pilot travel controls. There's no linkage in here whatsoever. And what that does, it 
allows for a smoother operation in the travel, eliminates some of the hop and some of the jump that we've gotten out of some of the uh, mechanical linkage control drives. Four stores overhead, two-speed travel, step-down travel motors located right on the uh, travel lever. Our boom swing pedal is located here, and it also uh, operates as a foot rest as well. Automotive style interior now with the cab heat AC unit, radio standard, auto idle, as well as an auto diesel for the engine. Load is standard on all of the machines, and obviously if we have an angle blade here, the switches are located right on the um, blade handle. Proportional controls, full auxiliary control located in your left hand joystick.